Hey, what's happening, guys? Uh, super cool, Isaac, and we're gonna be bringing you a little kill confirmed on uh, Sea Town here. And uh, this is my first commentary, and we're gonna be talking about the M16. Uh, in case you didn't know, there was a patch today, a uh, hot fix actually, so you didn't have to actually download a patch, but it buffed the M16 quite a bit. In case you either haven't used it or couldn't tell. Um, what the patch did the uh, for the M16 at least it upgraded the uh, the minimum damage from I think it was like 40 it, uh, I don't know but they upped it to 50 so uh, it is now a two shot close range kill and they upped the fire rate by I believe 11 percent so it's it is pretty close to having rapid fire just built into it if you already used rapid fire on the M16 anyways so um, it it is oh, it is so good I think it's it's probably a top five to easily top ten gun in the game um, the uh, its damage is now 50 25 so 50 up close and 25 at max range so it is a maximum four hit kill and um, close range it's two because you have a hundred health so 50 up close is be two and 25 long range is four um, as well as the fire rate difference, which actually, oh, look at that, look at that, there we go, turn on that kid, um, but the fire rate increase, so if you slap rapid fire on it like I have right now, it's, it shoots very fast, and it, it is, it is so good, um, the two hit range appears to be pretty close to the, to the type maybe, it might be a little longer, and, um, so yeah, I mean, I think this thing's act the M16 now is probably better than the type was before the patch, before they uh, before they nerfed it. It's it's essentially it's the type, but it has more range, which seems really really cheap. And I don't know if they intended it to be this good, but it is it is pretty darn good. Um, so yeah. Um, I think this is a 32 and 3 kill confirmed here. We're going to talk about the game a little bit. Um, class setup, I don't think it showed it since I was spectating somebody. I am running um, XCon, Assassin, and Sitrep. Um, I do sound horrible a little bit. Um, if everybody else is going to do it to me, I figure I might as well do it back to them. So, I mean, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I feel no shame. Um, so yeah, these guys are playing. Our, oh god, they're they're not good. I'm not gonna pretend like these guys were very skilled players. But I got I played this. I think I don't know a handful of games after I first used the M16 after the the update. So this is the best, probably the best game I had during that little session there. And I figured I would upload something so I could show off kind of how it's been changed uh, so yeah it, it's it is it's good um, let's see um, specialist uh, nearly always running specialist uh, especially with the M16 because I like having um, I like I like having sit up on things when possible obviously for sound touring or whatever and for seeing equipment but I Stalker is kind of a must for me, at least on assault rifles, because I can't, especially if I try and rush with them, at least without, especially without quick draw. If you do not have quick draw on an assault rifle, it it makes things difficult when you're running into shotguns and SMGs, considering all the SMGs kill in ridiculously low times up close, and then they get the extra strafe speed. So, yeah, Stalker is pretty much a must. And then the rest of it, I mean, it's nice just to get the proficiencies for, like, kick and... What else do you get on the M16? I know you do not get impact. You don't get breath, but I mean, what stability of the uh, M16 with all the proficiencies is pretty nice. And you get the speed bonus as well, which most people don't know about. So, um, that's pretty good. Um, let's see what else we're going to go on about. Uh, my channel, I suppose? Um, pretty much for the most part up until now, it's just been gameplay, but I guess I've obviously figured out my 
voice recording and whatnot, and I suppose in the future I can be commentating a little more. Um, not a huge fan of doing what I'm doing right now and actually commentating afterwards, so I may just do like live comm sessions or whatever it may be. Um, yeah, I don't know, maybe we'll get used to it after I do it a few more times. Um, I was planning on doing a kind of tips and tri tricks kind of a video, I suppose you'd call it. Um, more advanced stuff, not really like map knowledge and that kind of thing, but like reload canceling, sprint glitching, uh, snaking, pop-up glitching, if anybody knows what those things are, uh, fall canceling more advanced kind of stuff, I guess. It's not things most people would know. And most of it you can use in-game and it'll actually help you in certain situations if you if you know what you're doing. Um, so, yeah. The uh, game is getting pretty close to an end here. And getting pretty close to the Moab. I think I'm, I think I'm one off here. Let's see. There's a guy coming down the steps. Yep, panic knife. Let's go. Um, so, yeah, look at those three guys in the corner. Um, so, yeah. Um, also, I think sometime soon I'm going to be plan or doing a, uh, a challenge series, or at least, at least a game or two with, uh, just in case. Um, I guess I can, I can link his channel in the bottom. And we're going to be doing, like, a challenge where we preset guns or whatever and we see if he can outscore me. Supposedly he's going to give me a handicap, but he's a pretty good player as well, so I may, we may have to play a few games to see how that goes. Um, anyways, uh, it has been fun. First com out of the way, and look at Munch from there. Wall bang. Let's go. Um, yeah, so uh, I will talk to you guys later.